Good, swallow once, circle your jaw around. Nice deep breath together. Man, these cold, dark November days, it's good to relax. Easy does it. Welcome if you're a YouTube live streamer. Nice to have you. Wednesday is yin and restorative. I see our favorite friend, Polywog. I love him. And thank you for your nice video of Polywog. We'll get together soon, I promise. Just wanted to say that in person. Now, while you guys are relaxing, I thought I would croon some tunes here. Just kidding, I won't do that, but settle in, relax, let your eyes roll back. You can fall asleep if you want. It's all floor-based yoga this evening. Looney, my cat, he was, uh, he said he'd be in in just a moment. He just texted me. Okay, begin to breathe a little more deeply. Take the breathing a little bit down more toward the belly button. I see some other friends joining in. Good friends, by the way. Everybody's digging Wednesday. It comes once every 168 hours, this class. Lift up each shoulder blade, get any dents out of your upper back. Hi, Polly. Yep, this is where the elite meet to get off their feet and feel complete. Good, now begin to feel your feels, breathe what you feel. It's so surprisingly, amazingly healing to contact our feelings once a day, acknowledge them, process them, observe them. Not indulge or amplify, but just notice, breathe, allow. Oh man, we got Stephanie in class. Oh my God, we're going to do some ankle stuff. She's the bomb. Got Anne, you got Helga. Looks like we got Cindy in class. Got all the Schultzes, Howie Schultz. By the way, if you're watching on YouTube, these are just my good Zoom friends. So maybe you'll meet him someday on one of my retreats. Shake out your feet. Breathe a little more deeply from your belly button. And I'm going to come over to your house. I'm going to massage your third eye, your forehead. I'm going to relax your brain. Two more minutes on our back, feeling our feels, falling asleep.
All right, feeling all of your feels, your whole life so far. Take whopping big inhale, fill up the whole vessel. Exhale, release it all. Empty out, we are calm and peaceful souls. Good, now wiggle your fingers and toes and circulate some extra super feel God through yourself. Man, we just got to go to the well once a day. If you're going to feel well, you got to go to the well. Good, now arms up to the ceiling, lace them, pause, push your paws up to the ceiling. Extend your arms up over your head and toes forward so you're squealing. And big goofy get, grin and writhe around with feel goods sometimes we think we need other people to make us feel better and i got nothing against that but man can we conjure some feel good on the inside then we have some to give to somebody else draw your knees in for some knee hugging and back rolling polly has got his star wars sweatshirt on tonight and he's hitting the bottle which i can relate to yum Man, watching Star Wars hitting the bottle, it's 1977 all over again. Okay, roll the other way for just a second, please. We're okay, kids, let's roll up. We have a new feature of Wednesday Night Yoga. Welcome, Zoomers. It's called Unboxing Amazon Stuff. Do you ever get a box and you've forgotten what it was? Let's see what this is real quick. It's Wednesday, we can kind of take it easy. I wonder what's in the box. Is it a new musical instrument? Is it a new electronic device? I wonder what it is. I wonder if it's for me or for somebody else. I love that stuff. It's a new cat toy. Yay. All the other cat toys have been demolished by my cat. So I wonder if he'll come out for a second. If you're watching on YouTube, you're probably wondering why would anybody attend a class like this? Valid question. But by the end of this class, you're going to feel better than you have all day. Don't you love getting things out of the wrapper? You almost have to break. Ow. Hang on. I swear this is going somewhere. Man chops his face. And now I'm determined. There we go. All right. Really another one? Take a nice deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Let it go. Let's chant Om together. Big inhale. Oh. Okay, I think the cat will be out in a moment. Anyway, let's do this one where we circle our torso around like this. We're going to do all the things tonight. That's one of those chirping mice. I have to figure out how to make it chirp. Anyway, my cat's been complaining about no new cat toys, so I fixed it. Good, now we pause. Now, right shoulder down to our left knee and take it around. What's this wet stuff falling from the sky anyway? It's not supposed to rain in Northern California. What's up with that? Good. We're starting to feel better already. By the way, if you ever want to open up a package, just let me know. Two and boy, it's really raining good up here in Pleasant Hill. Okay, 
Now we're going to lace our fingers, thumbs up, and we're going to do that lovely drawing of our thumbs down our sternocleidomastoids. I shave today. I shave on the average about once a week TMI. I've never really been able to grow a beard, but be that as it may, I like to smooth out my sternocleidomastoids. Six, seven, eight. We're doing all the feel God stuff tonight. Thumbs underneath the corner of your jaw. Relax your face into your mitts and massage underneath your jaw. Guys complained about having to shave their neck. It's probably not very easy to shave your legs, I suspect. Dig in there. Ugh. Good hold steady pressure for eight seconds. We are calm, peaceful souls. Good, you guys. All right. Now we'll drop our chin down. Take your head around eight happy times. Eight. All this stuff designed to get us out of our left brain, figuring everything out. All these cares and worries of a modern world. There's just too much. Five. <coughs> Excuse me. Six. Seven. Eight, other way. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven. Okay, now let's indulge ourselves by letting our chin hang down for 20 seconds. Make beautiful ujjayi sound breathing at the back of our throat. And I know we all have a bright future and we have amazing memories from the past, but let's not discount the miracle and the glory of this very moment because this is where we live. The best way to have a beautiful future is to have a beautiful now. Okay, we'll bring our face back. And I have to admit my first ohm was a distracting, a direct distraction while I was trying to open the cat toy. So let's ohm for real this time, loud and bold, inhale. Om. Feel that we're calming down a little bit. Maybe you were already calm. I think I'm joining you now. Okay, take the heels of your hands into hips and Shoulders. Now the adepts, the professionals at this one, they're able to push down while they crest over the top. And the rookies, the newbies, they kind of lift their hands, but just keep coming back. Six, seven, eight. Good. Try to push down and straighten your arms whilst leaning forward, dropping your chin. It's pretty easy unless it's hard. Everything's easy if you can do it. Everything's hard until you can. Good. Now, alternate other flexion of your wrists. Mush, mush a couple times. Good. Then back up over forward, all around and down one. Two, three, went to Costco today. Big mistake, just don't, there's like two months you just don't go to Costco. This is one of them. No parking, 
you know, middle of the day, 11 o'clock, really no parking. Finally, you park, you get in there and it's like just everybody's in your way. It really gets you in the Christmas season. You just want to smash into people and yell at them. It's great. Six. There's no more spiritual activity in the world than going to Costco at Christmas time. Okay, now lean forward, bend your wrist, drop your chin. Love the people at Costco. Good, now our hands are going to go flinging -ing 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 out. Up they go. You know what's coming now, don't you? Behind your back. We're going to polish our chakras on the way up. Feels super good. Behind your neck. Poof. Okay, now we're all angels in training, so we got to get these wings a little more open. People need you. You're here for a reason. You were designed intelligently. Poof. Little old me. Little old me. There's a design and a plan for little old me. You bet. Poof. Uno mas. Ah, uh, good. Okay. I'm going to back up a little bit. Pause out. Lean, leans into him. Ow. Sore hands. A bass, a guitar, and a drum lesson today. Yikes. Drop your chin, cool your jets. All of us have an inner sanctum, a divine center, creamy filling. If we could just find it, it's the source of all joy, love, and happiness. Until we find it, it seems a little empty. It seems like there's a God-sized hole inside of us. Good, now oscillate left and right a little bit. Okay, this one's always followed by feet together, arms out, and some scary crows side to side. Oh, I pulled some kind of muscle in my neck, upper chest thing, and it's like I can barely breathe, but man, I don't care. I'm just going to keep smiling. Life is challenging. Good. Now behind your back. And then wrists in your pits. Chickens, poultry in motion, elbows inside your knees. Can you squeeze your knees together yet? Some of my bendy friends can. We've got a Cindy in class. I can't tell if it's Nurse Cindy or Dr. Cindy. Either way, I love you and... They generally can push their elbows all the way in together. So can Kristen, Stephanie, not a problem. Ann and Greg, kind of a problem, but we win in other poses. Good, now feet together, let knees flop, and roly-poly guacamoles. Other way. Oh, shake it out. Get the hand, Satan. Get behind me. Flippity flops, flappity flips. Where's my cat? I've got a cat toy for you. Ups and downs. A little faster, a little slower, a little faster. Cup your hands at your heart. Be holy, sacred, and reverent. Love all over yourself. Quirks and foibles. Do you have character defects? Are you perfect yet? Do you still employ any of the seven deadly sins on occasion? Oh, well. 
Love conquers everything. Poliwag says, I'm still perfect. Good, now massage the middle center bottom of your feet a couple of times. Now, I admit it's better when somebody else rubs your feet, but sometimes you got to take matters into your own hands. I ain't paying for no stinking massage. I can do it myself. Good, now push your thumb through your foot on both sides. Inhale, look out forward at your bright future and come on down and smell your feet. Widen them groins, relax those shoulders, cool those jets. Okay, come on up. If that is Nurse Cindy in class, here's one of her favorite poses. Curled up little kid pose, knees together, slide heels into your bottom all the way, wrap around your knees. Now, I have to admit I've put on about seven extra pounds. Have you ever done that? But it's hard for me to grab my feet. So I'm just gonna grab my knees and Lose some weight. It's a good time to lose weight. Thanksgiving and Christmas time. Definitely a good time to shed some elbows. Relax your shoulders. I think I look cuter when I've got a little bit of a Buddha belly. Squeeze, squeeze. Bueno, now we'll counter pose. Just keep your feet right there. Let go, palms back, and stand up on the tippy toes and lift your booty buns as high as you can. Head back, buns up, way up on your stiletto tippies. Good, now drop your heels. Now with your heels down, now lift your buns again. Ooh. That's hard. Not for Stephanie, though. Good, now come on down. All the people on YouTube are like, who are these people? But that's okay, as long as we have millions of more people on YouTube, it's growing every day now. I apologize in advance for this next pose, but we're gonna do a very special pose designed to get mental tension out. And strangely, mental tension accumulates in our ankles and shins. So this is the one where my teacher would never allow a blanket, but we're gonna put a blanket over the top of our left ankle, just like that. If you don't have a yoga blanket, I don't believe you. And put your right ankle, it just fits really nice, especially with a blanket on there. Sorry if you don't like this one, but sometimes it's the poses you don't like that are the best. Now I want you to waddle your heels, your buns back. And I just want you to lean down into your dis Boy, somebody just went to got to get a blanket really fast there. <laughs> Not going to name names, Kristen. Now, as you <laughs> as you come down, we just have too much fun doing yoga. Come on down. But this cures all the fun of yoga because it feels horrible as you come down and your ankles are breaking. Breathe into your feet. Now, I don't know if you know that, but we have two shin bones the tibia and the other one. And there's goo in between them called inner osseous material. And if you're older than say 30 and you've ever worried or fretted or been anxious, it turns to concrete. But if you lean into it a little bit and breathe, all that concrete turns to gooey love. Now wiggle your toes. I like to say, pretend toothpaste is being squeezed out of your toes. Now, if you're one of those people whose head comes all the way down to your feet, then just slide your head under your feet. Relax your shoulder blades apart. 30 seconds starting now.
Boy, doing this with the sound of rain on the rooftops, ecstasy. Inhale, look out and forward toward your truly exceptional future. Exhale, relax, relax. I'm up, my beautiful friends. Oh, that one really works. It's counterintuitive. It seems like that's the last thing you'd want to do to relieve tension, but yogis are very smart. Not claiming that for myself. There's my exposed right ankle looking sort of vulnerable. Banky goes over the top. Yay. Lefty fits right on. Okay, I just don't want to cram my head down. I want to fold from my hips. Come on down and experience the glory of your own shins and calves, soft feet. Some people like this. Now, when you come down, what happens to your breath and do you tighten up against it? So when you feel kind of like that, ooh, that tightening thing, that's okay. That's our edge. But I want you to make friends with that. I want you to breathe into it. We're going into the unknown together. Not many people relish going into the unknown quite like yogis do. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Soften your feet. Inhale, look out forward. Exhale, which may be our head comes all the way down to our ankle now. Inhale, come up. Oh. Some poses leave an impression, other poses leave a dent. That's a dent. Okay, now we need something different than this wide knee thing, which I like. So let's let's fold the right knee over and bring out the left ankle. Okay, tuck your heels underneath your bottom like a mermaid, right? Not a problem, kind of a problem. Oh. Lift your hands. Put your right hand underneath your right bun. If it's down on the floor, you're a flexible person. If it's tilted way over to the left, you're me. Now, knuckles on your head, knuckleheads. Close your eyes and pretend you like it. Maybe this pose really fits your body. Exhale. On inhale, stretch thy arms to the top of the cat tree, way up. Some people make this pose look really cool and some of us don't. Now turn to the right super much. Now just reach down, left hand grabs one of your feet, maybe the further a one way if you're a bendy person. Turn to the right. Now snake your right arm all the way around behind your back and grab your left shin. Don't, don't look at me to do that. Turn to the right, close your eyes. And now we're going to yin it for half a minute. Exhale all the air out. And come out of pose now. Keep leggies where they are. Everything from equator, South America stays down here. Now, all I want you to do is just put your hands behind you. Boy, is there going to be a variable of how high we can lift our hips now in half camel. Lift way up. Make your bones poke out of your trousers. 
Good, stretch up. This is one where the bendies can show off. To me, there's ecstasy in this pose. Good, now we're gonna sink buns down. Now, the, you know what's weird? The people who can lift up really high are the same people who can just lay on their back without any problem. The people who don't lift up very high, me, Todd, for example, we just lean back here, but just lean back where you lean. If you can lean all the way back, take your elbows up over your head and do the pinup pose. Think of all the different shapes in your body in this one. Knees bent, ankles crossed, leaning back on your back, arms up over your head, or just doing this. Yeah, I can get back on my left elbow, that's fine. Learning to accept my body more and more over the decades. Okay, let's get out of this one. Hmm? Come up. And then here's a completely miserable. <laughs> Why do I say that? Lace your hands behind your head. Now, just lean your right elbow all the way down to the floor, just outside your foot. Yeah, just go ahead and do that. Good, Anne. Very nice. I can tell I've got a lot of close Zoom friends when everybody has their camera on. Inhale and come out of this really, really delightful pose. It feels so good. Good. Now we'll, un we'll unwind out of that. I feel like $100 after that pose. Now, regulate your knees. Ah. Uh, Now this is the side where the knee doesn't bend quite as much. So sometimes I'm an example and sometimes I'm a warning and now I'm going to be the warning. So fold your left knee over your right. But this is why this is the fastest growing class on YouTube yoga class because everybody can be better than the teacher in some pose. Now, pay no attention to the guy behind it. There we go. All right. I just needed a little thing underneath there. Now from here, Hands up, kids, where I can see them. Knuckles on your head. Now, is your spine all caved over to the right? Is your spine in like a big C shape? Mine is, because I can't drop this left hip, but if I just stay in the pose for a minute, my left bun will drop. Now, if your spine is straight up and down, don't worry in a moment, you can go buck wild. Exhale all the air out. On inhale, Stretch thy arms up, arms parallel, straight, strong, hips down, and turn left so much, so much more. Good, now reach your right hand, grab the furthest away foot that you can grab, left arm behind you, and if you don't need your left arm to keep from smashing onto your right ear, snake your left arm behind your back, and like a snake, Snake it around and grab inside your right thigh. Then grow your spine, relax your shoulders, level your chin, and blah, blah, blah. Stop thinking. That's the miraculous part of this class is that you stop thinking. Thinking hurts after a while. Inhale. And release. Good. Now, South America stays where it is. Lean back on a pause. Now, bottoms up, kids. This is variation. Lift up. Lift up. Now, Polly Porcupine is going to walk underneath you. And do you... Do you guys have a liquid amber tree in your yard, the one that drops those little spiky balls? What a cruel thing for God to make, a tree that drops little spiky balls, but lift up, you got one of those underneath you. Good, now sink your hips down. No spiky balls. Now, just show me, thrill me with your acumen. A lot of my yoga now is just watching brilliant, beautiful, amazing humans 
get into these beautiful archetypes of the soul and relax. I've never seen anybody else teach this yoga pose. So it's another one named Greg Asana. Made it up. You can make up your own poses. If you've been doing yoga for 20 or more years, you can make up your own poses. It's pretty cool. Good. Now let's get us let's get ourselves out of this pickle, shall we? Come up and out. Oh, I can just tell from the analytics that that's a very popular pose amongst the friends. Unwind. <laughs> Another cat toy. Cat toys everywhere. You know what the best toy of all is? A box. I spent thousands, literally thousands of dollars on cat toys. Guess what the most popular one is? You're looking at it. All right. Seated forward, fold. Come on down, kitty cats. Waddle your buns back. And tonight after that sequence, my head comes all the way down, all the way. Lose your mind. Now contemplate that crazy spiritual phrase, everything is always working out for me. You know it is. You know it is. We're here to learn to trust, to have faith. We're not here forever, but let's learn that lesson of trust, surrender, faith. And I thought you had another grandchild there. I was like, oh my God, she's got two grandkids now. <laughs> Inhale, look forward, bright future. Outhale, deep and deep and down. Okay, now we come up. That's called Longana Kriya. That's the yoga of getting really small. Now we're going to get huge Costco size pose. Hip up. And come on down. You ever judge other people's shopping carts at Costco? It's like, oh my God, really? 15 rolls of toilet paper on your back, legs up. And hi, how you doing, folks? Legs out to the side. One minute. If you don't like it, it'll all be over in a minute. But we've got to keep our southern hemispheres healthy, happy, and strong. Gravity takes over. You can hear your groin squeaking. If you're really quiet, they sound like little mice. They're just screaming. Okay, kitty mittens, fingertips on the back of your head, and we're gonna we're gonna get some of that. We're gonna do something about this belly fat. 15, 14, 13, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 12, 4, 3, Eins, zwei. Good. Now grab the bar out in front. Squeeze your ruined legs back together. Bend your knees. Reach up and grab your big toes. And a full minute of happy human pose. Drop your chin. 
I want the back of your neck. Sometimes I scruff my cat in the back of the neck. He loves it. So I'm going to scruff your neck for you. And if it was partner yoga, and if it was somebody that you really trusted, they would kind of push your buns down for you. That was the problem with partner yoga back in the yoga studio days. It's like, if you know the person, fine, but you know, come on. Oh, do you feel your groins just tearing open just little bit by little bit? Good, now let's roll left and right, kneecap to kneecap. Now, if both knees are down, you don't need to roll no more, but chances are you're not insanely flexible, so you have to go side to side. Good, now pause in the middle, lift up your head, big inhale, knees, spine bent, inhale, exhale, head down, straighten your legs, one, two, three, inhale, bend knees, soft, squishy part, exhale, head down, fully straighten, full splits, one, out, two, three, good, now release your feet, and one minute of Linda Benatar pose, she's a superstar of Viparita Karani, she wears a tiara in this pose, legs up, So good for us, this yoga, just smooth, even, healthy human movements. We'll very much shift gears after this one, but let's give the tincture of time to legs up pose. You still want your lumbar curve. Do you know what I mean by lumbar curve? You want your kidneys to have that little lilt or lift in them. Oh, this feels so good. This feels so unlike Monday practice. Okay, kitty cats, now bend your knees and let's roll up with alacrity. Stick the dismount. I give us a solid C minus on that coming back up thing. Yay, pray with your hands and feet. When you want something really bad, pray with your hands and feet. God, I need just one more Tesla, please. Good, now grab your big toes. And then race car pose, racing in your race car. <laughs> inhale, because inhale is good. Exhale, fully straighten them out. Zing, 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 zing tuning fork pose. Inhale, super bend them. Ah, happy part, relax your shoulders though. Exhale, fully straighten to fork in the road pose. Yogi Berra, the great catcher of the Yankees, he said, when you come to the fork in the road, pick it up. Inhale, bend your knees, pull them in. Just one more exhale, fully straighten. Now bring them in together into Helgasana, Navasana pose. Now the cool people can squeeze their knees in together and it really makes me mad. Relax your shoulders. And you're supposed to be straight up and down, legs and spine straight up. Good, let's bring them back in. We'll set them down. All right. Beep, beep. I have new shorts, they beep when I back up. And now, cats and cows. We need some prone yoga. Move those spines, undulate that undercarriage. Rocket kids. Mmm, good. Those moss gatos. Okay, now this is the one that Catwoman does in all the Batwoman films. You should see sinks down and buns are up and arms extend out. Pretend you got your cat ears on. 
you're a secret agent like Angelina Jolie, you're going to slide underneath a barrier of some sort. So the lower body has to get way down, but the hips are high. Of course, maybe this, maybe you're watching on YouTube and it's like, this really hurts. So maybe you're just on your elbows. That's okay. Only the bendy bears can bring their chest down. Oh, I like this one. It takes a while. It takes a while. Okay, now come up out of this. Now, just one of those miserable poses. You just turn your hands backwards. This is for my friend Stephanie, because I know she can do this one perfectly. Hands are backwards. Toes fold under, mine don't, yours do. And just sit back on your heels with your toes folded under with your wrists staying on the floor. Now, don't panic if you can't do it. Most humans can't come close. And for the people that can, we need to be inspired. Without vision, the people perish. When you get to heaven, do they give you a test of how flexible you are? Um, I don't, maybe, I don't know. They sure give you a test on earth. Okay, now turn your ruined hands forward. Yuck. Good. Now, you know what pose we just haven't done because I never do it. Knees wide, toes together, and sink your buns all the way back into child's pose, but I'm not going to do it because I'm not going to bend my knee that much. But I want you to bring your crotch all the way down to the floor, knees wide, big toes together. Perfect people are down from crotch, belly button, chest, arms all the way out. And just because I can't enjoy child's pose doesn't mean that you can't. All the sacrifices I make for you. If you look underneath yourself and there's a gap between your crotch and the floor, that's called space, the final frontier. We, that's going to come all the way down. If not in this lifetime, next one. We're okay. Now come up out of this. Oh, boy, that just feels great. I love that pose. All right, now. All fours, left arm out, right leg back. And reach, touch the piano with your left hand. Bend your right knee. Lift your right knee as high as you can without reaching back and grabbing it yet. Now reach back and grab it. It's gone. Good now, lift up super high. Uh. Chest up, look up into your third eye. Now, reach the left arm out, right leg back again, inhale. And now we thread the needle happily, come down to left ear, left shoulder. Right hand stays on the floor, right leg goes up. Maybe we won't do the complicated part tonight. <laughs> now, lift your right leg up higher, damn it, would you? Please. Now, Normally we fling the right hand up, but tonight we're just going to take it up really slow with control. This pose makes me look fat. I don't like this pose. Way up. Good. Now reach up and grab your right ankle because this keeps us healthy, happy, and stronger than most other people. Walk your right hand to your toes and then fully straighten your right leg. You only have to do this like twice a week and then everything else is cool. And release out of this horrible pose. Come out. Uh, all right. Ups and downs. Ups and downs. Close your eyes. I'm going to tuck my shirt in. I'm not going to subject the world to looking at that again. So you guys just keep your eyes closed. None of your business. Who has more fun than us in this class? All right. Now, right arm out to the side, left leg back. 
Sooner or later, you just got to accept your body, I guess, right? Now bend your left knee, reach forward, touch the piano, and lift up without reaching back and grabbing yet. Ugh. Now reach back, grab some foot. It's only a foot away, you guys. Now lift off again, chest up, look up. Tickle the back of your head with your left tippy toes. No problem for a 13 year old gymnast. And now reach your right arm out, left leg back. Happily thread the needle into just resting on your right ear, listening for Buffalo on the Plains pose. Left leg up. I've been reading a lot about Native American Indian tribes. Boy, we just have no idea what went on over the last thousand, two thousand years. Great stories. They weren't always friendly to each other. Good. Now slowly left arm up, kid. Zing. Grab your left ankle if you can't. Boy, are you in the right place. Sooner or later, you'll be able to grab that foot. Walk your hands to your toes. And if you just straighten your left leg, you are ready to leave the monastery. Grasshopper. Todd asked for this post. <laughs> just kidding, Todd, sorry. And release, come out, kids. Oh, oh. That was a big crack. Up and down. Turning 50 is a B, you guys. Just, it's a B to turn 50. Okay, now, I think that we should sit again because now we're in the ohm stretch. I drooled pretty bad on that pose. Sorry. We're friends. Okay, the most famous sequence ever for being calm and peaceful. Left leg out. An angel delivered this pose to me, came right down Jacob's ladder and said, Greg, here's the pose to teach to all of your friends for the rest of your life so that they would overcome anxiety and become calm and peaceful. And the angel said, start in Yogasana with the right ankle outside. Some teachers call it box pose. Teachers who don't know the name of poses. There's a lot of that going on nowadays. I'm just not going to name names or anything. All the other younger teachers, <laughs> arms out, grab elbows, wake them side to side. I took all those years to learn all the names of the pose in Sanskrit, and then I just rename them my own ridiculous names. Good. Now, when you bring your arms down, your right forearms on top. Okay, just make sure of that. Just fix it if it's not right on top. 737 winglets, droplets. Yank up your shoulders like you're not supposed to. Relax your shoulders. Chin level, close your eyes. Place the tip of the tongue on the roof of your mouth and be a calm, peaceful soul. Stop thinking. See, you can stop thinking. I'm so glad, so glad we're learning that together. Good, now open your eyes, keep your arms right here. Just keep sliding your right elbow on top until you can grab your shoulders and then fold up your arms without ripping them off if you can. And then oops and downs with your elbows. Oh. I don't know if this opens up my neck, back and shoulders, but it sure stretches my t-shirt. Make a couple of big old circles. Uh, other way. Okay, the most calming, peaceful Madonna pose of all time. Chest, face, elbows to the right, all the way. Face all the way to the left. Tilt your head to the left. Drop your chin and hold your baby up again, up away from the crocodile. Wow, nobody's thinking a single thought. It is so good. Good, now come back a center. Release wings. 
thumbs, middle, center, bottom of feet. Dig in a couple layers. Perfect timing tonight. Okay, now hold some steady pressure, and we're going to chant a smooth, beautiful ohm in A minor. Inhale. Just kidding. Oh. Let that ring. Hands to your heart. Bless yourself for a moment. So much love, just wanting to beat the door down of our resistance. And sooner or later, we'll remember. It's not easy being a human. It's a tough species, man. Okay, right leg out. But once you get past the human thing, boy, sky's the limit then, kids. Then you get to be a cat. Left ankle over your right knee, right shin folds under. Eckhart Tolle, the guy who wrote Power of Now, he says, I've lived with many Zen and spiritual masters in my life. They're all cats. Good, now grab your elbows the weird feeling way, switch it around, bring it up, and then reframe. Beautiful. Now bring forearms down. Is your left one on top? I'm just curious. If it's not, fix it. And then zinging -ing 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 with your hands. Then totes relax that. Pull shoulders up miserable. Relax shoulders calm. Chin level, eyes closed. Tip of the tongue on the roof of your mouth. And boy, are we getting good at this. Stop thinking. Feeling. Feel. Ananda, bliss. Good, now cram left elbow all the way over the top. Grab shoulders. Crack, crack, crack. Fold up your arms. Ups and downs. Get out any gunk. And then some soikles. Soikle it. Oof. Oh, we lost Anne and Pollywog. It's hard to do yoga with a hands a saint for managing a grandchild for an hour. Good. Now chest and elbows all the way to the left, extra super far. Then face to the right, similarly further away. Tilt your head to the right with saucy attitude. Drop your chin. Hold your baby up against, up away from the alligator. I didn't have this baby to feed an alligator. The love of mother, there's nothing like it. Good, we bring everything back to the center. This yoga tribe is on earth to teach people how to Quit thinking so much and calm down. Thumbs, middle, center, bottom of feet. Admit your feet are getting softer and more relaxed and your feet, your thumbs almost go all the way through. One more chant of Om and we're in Shavasana, kitty cats. Big inhale. Ow, it hurts to inhale. Oh. We are calm and peaceful souls in a world that desperately needs them. Okay, and please, I shan't bother you for five whole minutes while you're relaxing extra happy on your back. Good job, you guys. We did all the good stuff. Avita Sane, beautiful Helga, love you. Bye. Blankets are good. Pillows are good.
Okay, my friends, stay in the pose. We enjoyed a whole extra minute of Shavasana bliss. Take your time. Good, and this is that beautiful time. If this speaks to you, if you'd like to invite God, love, source, universe, infinite loving creator into your life, it's a good time if that speaks to you. Good, if you prayed that prayer with me, we can wiggle our fingers and toes and circulate fresh new life, love, truth, wisdom, bliss, beauty, joy. Good, and then curl onto your right side. Please take your time, no rush. Love all over yourself. Error on the side of love. Now, as always, we keep our eyes closed to keep the internal connected, blended, vibrational, unified feels as we sit up together. Boy, my my body suit fits better. Hands into our most beautiful hearts. Drop our chin. Humility to the one who brings us all together. You go deep into you, I go deep into me. We come to the one who brings us all together. All together we say, Namaste. Wow, what a nice group to say hello to on Zoom. First, good night, YouTube friends. Stay if you're on Zoom. By the way, if you're watching on YouTube, I implore, beg, and beseech thee, like and subscribe. Like it whether you liked it or not. Okay, bye, YouTubers.